Have you ever heard about the story of the elephant in the dark room? When several people were in the dark room trying to understand what is that creature by touching it. Someone touching the trunk and telling it's a giant snake. Somebody touching the legs and telling it's the wall. And someone touching the ears, telling perhaps a fan, and so forth. Everybody was insisting they are right and the other person is wrong or lying. This story reminds us to think about our reality not from the lens of our own eyes, but from the lens of all the people. And think about people's ideas as a piece of puzzle. If we put together every piece of puzzle, then we could see the bigger picture. My name is Samuel and I am data scientist. I've always wondered what is the nature of reality? Where am I heading to? What is my consciousness? I want to start a journey by exploring the nature of reality through the words of the biggest minds in all human history. And by putting together the piece of puzzles from the lens of different philosophers and businesses, trying to understand how the world works and what is the nature of our reality. If you would like to join me, please subscribe and get the conversation going on in common. Well, let's get it started. Gerard at Hooft Dutch physicist and Nobel laureate is renowned for his significant contributions in the field of quantum mechanics. Although not a philosopher in the traditional sense, his probing scientific inquiries and unconventional views on reality have philosophical implications. In this treatise, we shall delve into four crucial aspects of Gerard and Hoof's thinking and investigate the philosophical knowledge they offer. Understanding Gerard at Hoof's philosophy necessitates first acknowledging his perspective on quantum mechanics. He believes that reality as we perceive it is the result of underlying deterministic laws. Quantum randomness is, in his context, an illusion born out of our confined insights into these fundamental laws. This notion challenges our conventional reasoning about life, pushing us to reevaluate our interactions and experiences in light of potential undiscovered rules governing them. Furthermore, did Hoof's pioneering work on the holographic principle, which posits that all information contained in a volume of space can be represented on a lower dimensional boundary, has profound philosophical implications. This theory, if taken metaphorically, hints at an ontological and cognitive axiom, suggesting that multidimensional truths of existence might be comprehensible through lower dimension concepts. Applying this idea not only elucidates deep scientific theories, but could also unravel profound existential truths. Tuff's deterministic interpretation of quantum phenomena leads us to a philosophical debate spanning centuries, the coexistence of determinism and free will. He considers our universe deterministic at its core, which might imply that our free will is a product of ignorance about the true nature of reality. This perspective prompts introspection about mankind's deepest convictions, our virtues, our vices, and the ultimate meaning of freedom. Lastly, a Hooft's philosophy mirrors an age-old communion between science and philosophy. His groundbreaking theories underline the significance of a philosophical framework for advancing scientific thought. Science seeks answers by testing and experimentation, while philosophy assists in interpreting and contextualizing these findings. One without the other is akin to a ship without a compass, adrift on the vast sea of knowledge. <laughs>